My next guest was chairman of the House Intelligence Committee during the summer of 2016 when the conversation with Hillary Clinton that Robbie Mook referenced in court today took place. Let's bring in Devin Nunes, now CEO of Trump Media and Technology Group. Uh, good to have you with us today. I mean, you, you took a tremendous amount of grief throughout this story uh, for going over to the White House, for giving them a heads up that there were uh, investigations going on and that there was indications that there that a lot of this was cooked up as opposition research during the course of the campaign. What did you what's your reaction when you hear that Robbie Mook says, yeah, you know, we, we took it to Hillary and she said, absolutely, even though it's not substantiated, you should get it out there to the press. And Mook said, we just figured it was the press's job to figure out whether or not there was any substance there. Yeah, I think this is an interesting development because, you know, clearly we know that all of these cats that are out there, they all knew about it. You know, we knew from the very beginning, you mentioned what did we know at the very beginning? Well, we knew that there was no intelligence that showed that, there, that the Russians and Trump or Republicans had anything to do with, with any of this. So, so why is this interesting today? It's the fact that Mook would turn over his former boss as the, as the campaign manager who clearly had to have authorized Fusion GPS, Sussman, a Perkins Coy law firm, and then sold it out to the media. So I think this is an interesting relevation. Of course, we knew that Hillary Clinton and the whole cabal knew about it, but the fact that he would give up that evidence, direct evidence, almost unprompted from what I'm you know, hearing and seeing outside of the courtroom. Yeah, so, uh, you know, the suggestion was in the public that Hillary started reading these stories, too, you know, and then she started tweeting about them, started retweeting these stories that suddenly appeared in the press. So here's one tweet from Hillary Clinton. It's time for Trump to answer serious questions about his ties to Russia. Four things you need to know about the Trump Organization's secret server to communicate with Russia's Alpha Bank. And then it goes on uh, to sort of delineate what she sees as, um, you know, very suspicious behavior here. What strikes me is that, you know, Robbie Mook and Hillary Clinton put out, well, you know, computer scientists have uncovered that there is a link between the Trump server and Alpha Bank, right? And then you go back to this tech executive number one who says that he was hired to access information that he had access to um, in order to find a narrative that would be negative. So the computer scientists that they're talking about, they act like you know they're just sort of amazing random researchers who uncovered something. And yet um, it appears that they were directed by Mark Elias and by Fusion, it, it appears. Yeah, I think it's very similar to the whole thing of how they hired Christopher Steele. And then don't forget, you know, he was a right. former MI6 guy. He was the guy that they wanted. And then you take secondarily the Danchenko, the Russian, who wasn't really Russian. He was a guy that had formerly worked at Brookings, lived in Washington, D.C. This was similar. So this kind of came after the fact. This information went into the Steele dossier. And so what they did there at the end, right in late October, it was kind of their last gasp effort to, to do an October surprise. Now, what comes after that is, I think, more interesting, because when these guys go into later, go into the CIA and other intelligence agencies, it's after Donald Trump won. And clearly now they have went from kind of a dirty tricks, trying to cover for Hillary Clinton's, you know, destroying of her servers. They then move into this trying to get the FBI to further their investigation and publicize their investigation that led to Mueller, that led to this whole mess, which is a very dark chapter of American history especially for the dirty cops at the FBI and DOJ that knew about this. The Clintons have always been up to dirty tricks, but the fact that they corrupt our intelligence agencies and the media, who some are sitting in court right now, live, putting out live reports, they were ones who received this very information and wrote about it, and now they act like, oh, my God, I didn't know anything about this. It's absolutely amazing to, to watch this unfold. And I think, Durham, I think Durham's issue here is not going to be that he doesn't have evidence. His issue is going to clearly be that 95 percent of the people in Washington, D.C. didn't vote for Donald Trump. And then you have jurors who definitely supported Hillary Clinton. Some even know Sussman or they're friends with Sussman's kids. I think that's Durham's bigger challenge he's going to have to get over, Martha. Yeah, the, the, there are a lot of questions about the venue of this and, and how difficult right. it's going to be. And just to keep in mind for everybody at home, if they suddenly hear, oh, nothing came of this, it's a very, it's a very delineated 
question the jury faces. They have to decide, did Michael Sussman lie to the FBI when he said that he was there, not on behalf of clients? And that is the pinpoint. Right. That's what they have to decide. Right. But what's so interesting about this is that it is forcing out all of this other information about what was going on. So we'll all see once it's forced out there whether or not this uh, ball moves forward separate from perhaps uh, this very, very fine point issue that is uh, at, at issue in this case here. Um, Devin Nunez, right. thank you very much. Always good to have you, My sir. Pleasure, good to see you. Thank have you. a good Thanks weekend. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.